Okay, this is just a quick video uh, to run you through the modifications I've done to my Prado. Um, so what it is, first of all, it's a Land Cruiser Prado 120 series. Uh, it is the V6 uh, 4 litre. So first of all, we have the deluxe bull bar on the front. Okay, and it's got some LED spotlights. Uh, also mounted on the front is the uh, GME. Uh, it is the uh, 2.1 decibel antenna. A little stubby one. Um, I don't have a winch in there yet. Uh, I was going to get one last weekend, but they had no stock. Uh, so that didn't end up happening, but I will get one of those. Uh, we've got a snorkel on the side. That's the tough terrain one, just a cheap one off the internet. Uh, we've got Cooper, uh, the Discover ST Max tires. Really good. Um, quite like them, and the rims are the factory, uh, just painted in black. Got some stickers down the side, that's just for looks. Um, up on the roof rack, well, well the roof rack for a start, it's the Super Center full rack. It's got a shovel mounted on the side there, a light bar on the front, it's got the dual combo lights on it. So it's, um, it's the pencil beam in the middle and, and floods on the side. do we have and the awning on the side it's the Kings I think it's the 2.5 from memory maybe the three I can't remember okay then we got also some lights underneath some more lights on the back and also on the other side seen them before under the shovel on the rear wheel just got some recovery tracks uh, these are quite good they're called rock straps um, so these are basically what I just used to strap it on the rear wheel carrier so these can be removed simply just by unclipping these two and I do also have it padlocked just under the rear wheel and I usually have um, only when I go camping uh, this gas holder and that's just strapped onto the wheel uh, but it's very sturdy um, and yeah that makes it quite easy for uh, just running a gas line straight out of here and onto the rear table for cooking um, that's about it for the exterior I think so we can go onto the rear well that's the other thing uh, I have also one more antenna here and I just use this for FM uh, and AM radio okay so in the rear got the Titan drawers um, it's the Waco CF50 or not Waco, Dometic CF50 fridge down the side there there's also a table I've just got that uh, just on one of these bungee cords just to stop it moving around. Um, so if I need to pull the table out, I can just undo that. That comes the table. Keep uh, some of these front runner boxes um, just for storage. Um, keep some camp goods and some food and stuff in there. I replaced this latch um, with a different one. The original one isn't great, uh, but basically, once you undo that, you can uh, pull out the fridge. Pull these off, they just Velcro, and then access into the fridge, which is handy. drawers which are just general storage really um, in 
here. Got a little tool set. Uh, a couple of chairs. Uh, I quite like these chairs. See Austral compact. I like them because they're compact. Fit straight in here. I always have a set. I've got two chairs. And uh, they're just nice to always have in the drawer. Uh, and then recovery gear I also keep in there underneath the tools. So a little shovel. Uh, the other thing is uh, there's my air hose. I'll show you the air up system in a minute. Uh, the other thing on the back we have this table. So that's just always on the back. Two little bungee cords. And down she comes. Um, so not much really else to show you there, but um, that's where I'd usually cook. Pull the gas cooker out, usually just keep the cooker down the side there in that little gap. Um, but then I'll put the cooker on there, gas bottles there, hook up the, uh, the gas hose straight around the rear, and uh, you can cook right there. Easy the access to the fridge and to the table. And the other thing is, uh, I'll put this away. The other thing is this uh, divider. Um, so, uh, I just basically put a shelf here. This is for some extra storage. So, we'd usually put our clothes bags up the top here. This bungee just to stop things from moving around when it's up there. Uh, I want to just keep a warning wall extension side down there of course there's uh, access to the storage down the sides you can remove them you can chuck I've got some spare gas bottles um, some ratchet straps and things in there yeah, and obviously there's a cargo barrier back there as well oh one more thing on the rear is uh, this tap. Um, so I'll show you inside of the cab. Um, got just a fire extinguisher there. Um, and you'll see here is my water storage. So behind the rear seats, there's basically a, uh, it's a 60 litre water bladder. That's where you get it from, if you're looking for one. It's a flexi make, so basically that's your filler, that's a breather hose, just sits up there. Oh, and I've also got a first aid kit, uh, it's just an easy quick grab one. Um, so I've just put some Velcro on the back, and a little Velcro tab up there. Quick to grab, always handy to have. Put that back properly. Um, yep, so that's the water tank, and then... Basically on the rear, that's a tap. That's a water pump switch that primes the pump. And then basically, you got water on tap. One other thing I do have uh, tucked in here. Can't even get it out right now. So that's basically the gravity feed. So if the pump fails for whatever reason, I do still have access to water. Just keep that tucked in. in there. Um, what else? Show you inside, I suppose. Not much going on in here. Um, just got a dash cam up the top. Um, a little voltmeter. So I've got an auxiliary battery. Um, this is just wired in, uh, what do you call it, on the accessories. So when you turn the car on, the voltage shows here. A couple USB points. Um, I've got a CB radio, 
That's the TX3100. That one goes to the antenna on the front. Uh, and then just down there, the handheld piece. And I also have the external speaker, uh, just because it's a little quiet because the speaker's uh, down there inside. What else? Oh, the air compressor switch. Um, so this is the air system. So basically, uh, if I turn this air compressor switch on, it primes uh, the air compressor. You've probably just heard it turn on. Uh, but basically, that'll get up to pressure, and uh, I'll show you the air chuck uh, on the front in a minute. So it is the auto. Um, some handy storage there in the mid. Uh, maybe go around the other side. And here, got all my other switches. Um, so, spotlights for the front, light bar on the top, got the two side lights. Um, so, turning this one on turns the left side on, turning this one on turns the right side on, and that's for the ones on the rear. So, you'll see with all those on, got lights here on the side, lights on the rear. They're really bright, um, but LED, so low current draw, so they're good um, and switchable from in the cab, so that's handy. Uh, these are also wired up um, to the uh, high beam, so you'll see they only activate when I put the high beam on. Um, but I can show you with those on. So they're active. So you see the light bar is on and also the spotlights are on. Not much else to show you there, I don't think. About it. Oh, it's right. I forgot to show you the uh, air compressor stuff and the dual battery. This up. Okay, so the engine's just about all completely stock, um, but we do have a couple things in here. Um, so, an AGM battery, uh, it's 110 amp hour, it runs all the accessories, things like that. Um, I run the projector, uh, DC to DC charger system. So this is the factory battery, it's a starter, and auxiliary battery over there. Air compressor, it's the King's um, Thumper Max, and that's just bolted in here, so I made a bracket here, it holds it all in there nicely, uh, and it is slightly modified, um, so it's obviously hardwired in, I've just hardwired in a, um, a circuit breaker, um, these are auto reset circuit breakers there for the charging system, that thing over there in the middle of the screen. Uh, and this is slightly modified. Um, so I found for a long, uh, well basically pumping up four tires, it eventually cut out on a hot day. Um, so what I did was modify the air compressor slightly. And that's not normal. There's not normally a fan in there. So I've just wired in uh, a fan on each of those uh, and that cools it just enough to be able to run it non-stop and pump up the tires completely without the thermal cutout cutting in. Let me put that back on properly. Okay. Um, yeah, so basically inside of there is the, the wiring. They just go in there and basically when that switch is on, the fans are on. Um, 
that's about it. I can show you the air compressor working if you like. If you're interested in still watching. So pull out the air hose. This end. So just a quick connect, and then in the bull bar, this is connected up to the compressor. I'll just lock that up. Hard to do with one hand, of course. Okay, there it is connected up. And then this is your filler. So so I just go inside the cab and put that air compressor switch back on. Shouldn't do this with the car off. It drains a lot of power, this compressor, but um, yeah, basically that's your filler. Connect up to your tire. And uh, you'll see when you let go of the trigger, the compressor automatically turns off. Press the trigger. And it will turn on. Really cool system. Just thought of a couple more things uh, to show you. Um, so this divider, um, what I've done, and just so I can use the space in the boot if I want to, um, so I can remove this fridge uh, quite easily. Uh, that's just a couple straps here. And then this, um, basically, if I remove that, that unclips, this folds down. Um, so you still have that full, still have that full width um, there that you can use. Uh, and that shelf comes out also. Uh, just a second. Just sliding around on the table. So this shelf uh, removes easily as well. Basically just undo these. Um, so they hold it up when that divider is down and provide a bit more stability. Um, but basically remove those, how a cam buckle works. Uh, and then on the inside, um, you've just basically got these. Um, so you unscrew these. And then just got those in there. So uh, these are from Bunnings, they're quite good. You can do something like that so you can remove the shelf easily and you have the full height if you just need to put something in your boot, which is good. And I think that's everything. Um, nothing more. Oh, no. <laughs> again, there is more. Of course, there is. I'll just show you the electrics. Um, so basically, from that dual battery in the front, uh, it runs the, there's a big, uh, big wire running all the way down the side of the car under the kick panels, uh, and that runs into this uh, panel in here. Sorry, it's a bit tight, uh, but basically, a um, bunch of USB ports. That's the power for the fridge. Uh, I've just also got this awning light. Um, so basically, when I turn that on, uh, inside of the awning. Uh, it's zipped up at the moment, but inside there's an LED strip um, And it's got a little remote so you can change the color of the lights and stuff like that. It's quite good um, but inside It's all the wiring inside. There's a little fuse box in here uh, And this runs Most of my accessories um, And then tucks everything up Nicely I can get it back. Again, of course, it's hard to do with one hand. That's in. Yep. Okay, now, surely, surely I've been through everything. I think just about. Uh, so, thanks for watching.